Good morning again, Mount Clear and friends. Day 46, if I remember correctly. No, day 51. Day 51. I'm only a week out. That's okay. When darkness comes, T.D. Jakes' devotional called Crushing. Today is when darkness comes. Matthew 27, verse 45. And it reads, From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. And the, bishops, and the bishop writes, Those of us familiar with the details of the crucifixion story have probably heard that darkness came over the land between the hours of noon and 3 p.m. as Jesus hung on the cross, dying a slow and brutal death. Why darkness during this crushing time? The bishop suggests, I believe that there was something going on during this time when the heavens refused to give light in the middle of the day. God, the one who brings the light and the darkness, chose to express himself in the darkness at that specific time when his son was at the pinnacle of accomplishing his set mission. I've had to comfort many parents who've lost children prematurely. I cannot and choose not to imagine an instance where I had to give my sons or daughters a eulogy and then bury them. I dare not imagine the nightmare of saying goodbye to the one you birthed. Yet it is a scenario that has been played out for many. I've witnessed their despair, he writes. I've heard their blood-curdling cries. I've attended the funerals and tried to give counsel through the resulting suicidal and depressing thoughts. Burying a child creates unbearable and indescribable emotional pain for parents. Therefore, I believe that in this passage, God was experiencing those emotions as he watched Jesus succumb to, to the death he had been ascribed. God experiences emotions, joy, sorrow and anger. The only difference between his emotions and our emotions is that his are pure and uncorrupted by human sin. So it stands to reason that God was in mourning during that time period and chose to send darkness rather than light as he saw his son become our sin offering. God knows darkness. God knows pain. Even when he knew exactly how this suffering would end with the resurrection, he was still pain during the darkest moments of Jesus' suffering. God knows your pain, even when he knows exactly how things will work out. Find comfort in a God who has experienced the same emotions that you are feeling. Darkness may be here now, but remember, it's only temporary. Holy One, we know you understand the pain and darkness that we experience. You know how it feels when the sun refused to shine. Give us strength and wisdom to keep moving while it's dark. We look for your marvellous light to shine on our situation. We thank you that you're with us every step of the way. We pray in Jesus' name. We love you, God. Love you, church. Love you, friends. Good morning.